All right, here's the Funk Master, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling. We talk so much about the state of this 135-pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that world. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that separates Aljamain, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Sterling is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling early. We shall see. The Funk Master, Aljamain Sterling. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here's the world beater, Hamzat Shumayev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon, whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Shumayev that they separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Aljamain Funkmaster Sterling. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here's Aljamain Sterling. Hasn't necessarily been a fast starter in the UFC. There's no denying the toughness, the creativeness, his scrambling ability. You know about the wrestling acumen, but he uses his length very well. This is a hard guy to hit, and it looks like he'll be hard to hit here out of the shoot tonight. Great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Sterling. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Sterling's in half guard now. 
making all these shots count. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chimaya. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attempt, no good. Now goes to the uppercut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Second round, straight ahead. All right, bud. Sit down, relax, breathe, okay? You gotta suck it up this round. You're not tired. I want you to go out there and I want you to get this takedown. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success, and you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All right, on. here we go with round two. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this young man. No, and he does it in the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the outcome and use it as a barrier to get up. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. That guillotine is tight. This has got to be in the fight. Chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke, he's locked in. Good job by the champ there. Starting back up. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Zachi, I have ground and pound from half goal. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded and so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Chimaya have ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same thing. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal. 30 seconds to go in round two. Look at him working and trying to set the liver down. 15 seconds to go. This is beautiful. He's got a single collar tie. Take a seat. That was awesome. He really hurt him there. Okay? He's in trouble. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want to pull All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Go on. Round three of a possible five. All right, so here we go. Next round is underway. It looked like maybe we would get a finish by submission in the previous round. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. He's going to have to do things differently if he's going to submit this guy. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Stewart. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice low kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Guillotine jump. That guillotine is very tight. Submission D. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, he's out. All right, feet on the hips here. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Hamza Chimai. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Great defense by the defensive fighter. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh, oh! Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, the the front master delivers. Oh, oh, my so what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. He playing the winner by tap out and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Aljamain Pumpkin.
Casper Sterling. All right, so Aljamain Sterling is your winner, and by submission.